and welcome to Long's Toys. Today I have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle review for you. This is Casey Jones. And as you can see here on the packaging, he is a street banging vigilante. He is, as seen in the TMN TV show, TMNT TV show season two. I think he's pretty cool. There's a cool picture of him here on the back. And if you'd like to read his bio, go right ahead. Typical picture of the other figures. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of the packaging and take a look. So here we have Casey Jones out of the packaging. He's a pretty cool little figure. I like the detailing. I'll try to get up close here. Um, focus in on the face. He's got kind of a... It almost reminds me of like the Joker from Dark Knight or something. It's like a white face but kind of with like black detailing around the eyes and then around the mouth. Um, underneath his hoodie here. The head can move from side to side. He's got a hinge here in the shoulder and then front to back. He's also got not quite 90 degrees, but it's a little bit of uh, elbow articulation there. And then the hands can uh, rotate here at the glove. Same for both arms. He has waist articulation here. Uh, the hips are like the shoulders, front to back and out to the side. And then he's got 90 degrees here at the knee. He's actually got a lot of articulation, more than most Ninja Turtle figures, or at least the last couple that I've reviewed. The Turtles have some pretty good articulation. Uh, he's got this kind of weird black handkerchief thing hanging out of his back here. I guess it's his bandana that he usually wears. I'm not really sure. Also, the detailing on his pants to look like, I guess, jeans or corduroy pants or whatever they are. It's a pretty nice touch. And I like the a little bit darker gray for his hockey shin guards. And I like his big goalie pad here on his other arm. I think it's a pretty cool figure. Um, he does come with some accessories. He has this tiny little uh, hockey mask, which unfortunately, the paint on mine is not very sharp. All right, come on. There you go. It's just, it's a little smudgy, and like the color is a little off-white. It's not terrible, but the other thing is, when I try to put it on, it just kind of has these two little tabs. So it's just kind of supposed to fit in the hoodie around his eyes. And it's hard to get in there, and it doesn't really line up on his eyes all that well. And once you get it in, it's kind of hard to get out. So, I don't know. I mean... Really, his face is painted exactly the same as the hockey mask, so I don't really see even the need for it. I understand they were probably trying to pay homage to the original Casey Jones wearing a hockey mask, but then don't paint his face. Like, I feel like if you're going to wear a mask, you don't need to paint your face. If you're going to paint your face, you don't need to wear a mask. It just seems, seems kind of redundant to me. Um, the two weapons that he comes with are a baseball bat, which doesn't really have any paint on it. Uh, it has some detailing for like the tape around where you would normally hold a bat. And there's no way it's going to focus on this with Casey in the background. So it's hard to see. There's not really much detail. There's kind of some wood grain on the bat. Uh, but it's just one solid piece. Same with the hockey stick that he comes with. Um, again... Kind of a little bit of detailing, some wood grain, some tape here around the stick part. Um, but since it's all one solid color, it's kind of wasted. You don't really see it. Now on the back, he has this clip system. I would rather he have his traditional like golf bag, but not so much. So these kind of click in. like You just kind of sandwich them in there, smush them in there. Uh, with the bat, you just kind of... Now, the nice thing about it is you can rotate it. I like to have weapons on a guy's back at a 45-degree angle. That's just classic to me. So, you can rotate it. Um, I believe on the show, he wears the hockey stick like this. So, you can put it in either direction. Same with the bat. So, I would have preferred the golf bag, but at least he does have a way to mount the weapons on his back which i appreciate scan up there 
So all in all, I think I definitely like this figure. I definitely recommend him. Uh, like I said, the only complaint is the hockey mask. I feel it's a little redundant and it doesn't work very well. It doesn't attach to his face that much. But since his face is painted, you almost don't even need it. So I don't worry about it. I would have liked a little bit more paint applications on his two weapons, but I understand at this price point, that's not something you always get. Uh, I do appreciate that this figure has a lot of articulation. The last couple that I reviewed have pretty much only had like hip and shoulder articulation. He's got elbows, wrists, knees. It's pretty nice. So if you're a fan of Ninja Turtles and you like Casey Jones, I definitely think you should pick up this figure. But please let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please like and share this video. Please make sure you're subscribed. There'll be links in my description for my Facebook and Twitter page. Please follow me on there as well. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Casey Jones from the new Ninja Turtles line. And thanks for watching.